my work is a demonstration of solidarity with the many Ugandans who want to work, who work to work. We are very disappointed that the government taxes 800 shillings per liter of petrol, 500 shillings per liter of diesel, 220 shillings per liter of kerosene. So our work today is to say the price of fuel is too much. The government should reduce the taxes on fuel so that the ordinary Ugandans can afford a living. A bunch of Matoke is now 25,000. So I have worked for nine kilometers and the little money I save today will help me help a poor family in the constituency by buying salt for them. I've saved 30,000 by walking and I'll walk again the next Thursday. So what we pray is today, even if we are few, even if I'm alone, we walk to our central place. On Thursday, we expect more people to join because they would have seen that we are actually peaceful. What the police was anticipating, they were anticipating violence. But where we are now, they have seen it is very peaceful. So by next Thursday, we hope the momentum will increase. The process will go on until government actually lowers the price of uh, fuel. We are going to go up country in all the major towns. After that, as members of parliament, we shall take on a hunger strike. Because we are not just going to continue walking and no one seems to listen to us. So we shall, take an, an, we shall go on for hunger strike. We shall do everything it takes even to frustrate the swearing in our members of parliament. Because we are not going to go to parliament and millions of money when ordinary Ugandans cannot even afford a meal. So the process will go on, and I think this is symbolic enough. The fact that myself can walk, PSJ can walk, over 40 MPs can walk, it is symbolic enough. It's not about numbers, it's about the message we are passing. Abantu bayo, ebintu 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 ebintu